Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithelli.com and I'm going to share with you today a card class featuring the Latin Love which, oh my goodness, it's just a really nice one and I think it's a really great one to play with. Um, here is the stamp set and here are the dies. Um, so I want to feature this one because this is one of the, this is another one of the new um online exclusives that we have available going on or that we have right now going on and um there are some dots which i think i use all of them because i cannot find them here but that are not right now available however they're coming back sometime april 15 when i look at the uh, inventory list um but other than that almost everything is there there is a ribbon that is with that, which I'll be honest, I'm not really using. Oh, maybe I can use a little bit of that today now that I said that uh, for one of the cards. And um, there's also the designer series paper. So we'll we'll play with it tonight so that you can kind of see it. Um, and like I said, I think it's a really, really uh, cool one. One thing um, that I wanted to make sure is that I wanted to use this uh dies where they have a little more of pieces so that we can play with it um because um i have been mainly using the images from here and here and this for the stamp for the cards that i've made so far and so for this class i wanted to make sure i use these two uh dies that are a little bit more uh detailed if you will um not difficult it's just a little bit more of little pieces and so i wanted to play with them um, so anyway, so let me know where you're watching from. I'm always excited to hear where you're watching, uh, where you're doing, <laughs> how are you doing? Um, I know this week is a uh, spring break, so it's been kind of chaotic here at home. Plus, I am also leaving for Houston tomorrow for the big onstage event that we have with the Stampin' Up! Plus our event. And so I'm just running crazy lately. So, um... But anyway, just let me let me know what you uh, where you're watching from, and so the other thing is, I just wanted to make sure uh, I talk. Oh, here are, here are the dots. I'll show the dots. I was like, I lost the dots. No, I have some here. Um, anyway, so let me just go a little bit over what we have as far as classes so far. Right now, we have the what is this called? The Cart Club, and so Cart Club is my subscription. Hi Nympha, where you get uh, a kit in the mail every month. It is $45 already with shipping. And every month I send you a kit that has about five projects and about $20 to $25 worth of merchandise. Um, so um, this is, like I said, a subscription. And for the month of April, we're going to be featuring the Simply Cineas, which is the same suite that I used last week. If you haven't watched that class, you can see it on my Facebook, on YouTube. But anyway, this is the one. And I, I am just in love. I think like all of the cards look really nice and very cheerful. And even though the stamp set has a lot of like gratitude and thinking of you and thank you um you could easily change the sentiment for something more like birthdays for instance i think like or mother's day because i feel like flowers are really good for like mother's day also birthdays the colors are very cheerful so i think you're going to be able you can easily change all of the cars fairly simply by just changing the sentiment so anyway um so you can get you can uh go to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club to get more information, read all about it, read all the perks that we have going on, and also to subscribe. Now, when you subscribe, make sure you go back. Yeah, so the Senior Surfer Club, Miriam. So when you subscribe, make sure you go back to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club and check out, um, sorry, and go and, go and fill out the Google form because that's where you're going to be telling me where to ship your kit. All right. So that's the most important thing to know. Um, and so anyway, like I said, that's my monthly. One of the perks that I have, uh, for Card Club is that every month I feature one specific bundle. And so I do offer that bundle at my cost, uh, to the club members. That way they get a little bit of a break. Um, and, um, that means they don't pay shipping or taxes on that month during, for that bundle if they choose to add it to their kit. So if you are one person who are... Uh, building your uh, stamp collection little by little, you can take advantage of that because again, you end up saving a little bit from that end. All right, so that's that. Um, 
And then as far as more classes, I don't have right now anything else, <laughs> mainly because of on stage. The other thing is, like I said, this week I'm traveling, coming back on Saturday, and then next week I'm also going to be traveling. So I think I might be, I have to move my Facebook Live to a different date, maybe. I think, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I can still do the Facebook Live, but I think I might have to, I think it's the following week. So I think next week I'm fine. I'm traveling again on Friday and then coming back until the following week. So again, too many things going on. So I'm not really sure I'll have another class. I do have a bingo plan that is going to get released later this month for April. And my only thing is that the, um, what am I saying? The kit that I decided to use is right now not available. So depending on when it comes back, I'll be able to say, to uh, to release it. So we'll see. If not, we'll have to redesign a class for the bingo. But there is. Uh, but I'm planning to have another bingo sometime early April. So I should be able to release it in March. However, like I said, I am trying to wait a little bit just to see when the kit, not the kit, but the pieces of uh, that I use come back because right now they're not orderable. So anyway, hi Angel. So anyway, the other thing is that as you know. I'm going to be traveling beginning tomorrow. And so I didn't want to put another layer of things by cutting kits. So for this week, I have an online uh, ordering or not online, an ordering incentive where for every $35 using my host code that I'll show you here in a second or any of my links in my email, if you use those, uh, you're going to be getting a card kit from a past facebook live and so just to give you an idea so every month every week i send the kit something like this and it has the ribbon the pieces everything that is embossed and both cut out the only thing that you would need is the stamp set or the bundle to complete because of course i cannot mail stamp images and so for every 35 dollars you'll get one of these and i have different every week um, I have been planning a little bit about this just for things like this where I cannot cut. And so every week I have been cutting a little bit of extra kits. Some sold out, but some others uh, have not. And so, for instance, I have the, I think it was the pedal park that I used with this one. And as you can see, every single one has a link here. Uh, or uh, instructions to download the instructions. And this one will take you to the... Um, Facebook Live through the YouTube video where I have that Facebook Live so that you can kind of see what it was, how they look, and how to make it. So all the pieces are complete uh, on this one. So you can see here, uh, these are the ones from the uh, Excellent X. So I still have a few of those. Um, these ones were from the, uh, what is this, the bundle, the Jungle Pals from Celebration. I do have one featuring the uh, Meadow, what is it, Mendry Meadow. So again, all the pieces are there. So again, for every $35, you'll get uh, one of these kits, right? And you'll get different kits, of course. I have several of those inside the house. I just want to show you how they kind of look. And, um, and again, just make sure you just see the link, download it, and you'll get everything else. You can use the bundle that I use at a time, or you can solve with whatever other thing that you have. Um, so anyway, so that's the special ordering. And then for any orders over $50, you'll get also a uh, designer series paper pack, something like this. And I have several of those different papers. This is just an assortment of um, six by six designer series paper. Let me show you, here's another one. I think I always end up sharing this one. Uh, but something like this you'll get in the mail where we have 48 sheets, different designs. Um, and um, again, it's just uh, as a thank you for supporting me during this time. And like I said, I don't think I'll be able to do kits for the cars that I'm showing today. But you would still get uh, something uh, from the past kits that I have available. And again, they will be different. I won't be sending you two of the same. It will be different. Um, and again, it's for every $35, you get one of those. So anyway, so hopefully you take advantage. Um, and this is before taxes and shipping right so it should like uh 35 before tax and shipping or 70 dollars and then you get two and so on okay and there's no limits so anyway so that's um that's the thing right now you do have to be using the host code and the orders have to come through what did i say march the what is the weekend the 15 the 19 i don't even know what is today the 12 
So I think it's the 16th. Is that right? Am I? I don't know what is Saturday, but it's the Saturday. <laughs> I'm getting confused with my with my dates. It is the 16th. Okay, so the 16th. So between now and the 16th, you get that. Um, the exception is if you're ordering $150, do not use the host code because I would like for you to get the host rewards. Okay, so that's the only exception. Otherwise, please use the host code so that you uh, get one of these kits. Okay, or as many kits as you want, I should say. Um, so anyway, so that's that. Um, and I'll send an email with all that information, of course. But um, uh, once I send the replay, but I wanted to make sure you knew. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. So anyway, so let me start flipping the camera. Like I said, I'm very excited with this kit in particular. I think that it's adorable. So hold on for a second. Let's see. Well, yep, yep, I think it's good. Yep, let me move a little bit of these pieces. All right, um, okay. Okay, so uh, here is the stamp set. Like I said, I really like this one. Um, the sentiment says, hello there, let's catch up. I really like that one for like uh, to send to some friends that you haven't seen in a long time. I think that's really good. Then you have, thanks so much. This one's on me, which I think is great for when you're sending those... Um, Starbucks uh, gift cards. I think that that's really a good one. And then the next one says, you are the best part of my day. So like I said, really, really great stamp sets or stamp images. Uh, also this one, this one is like um, the marks for the coffee or the stains of the coffee are really good. They look really nice. And then there's also little splatters. These also look really cool. And then we have... Um, the coffee mug or tea mug if you want and then you have also the coffee look from upside right and then you have different um options to put on here as the coffee you know like those cappuccino that you can kind of make the shape so this is that so let me just oh by the way let me just make sure i am because i am here talking and i don't even see any comments so let me get on my page here we go so oh my goodness what did i do so that I can see your comments. All right. So let's see. Marianne says, woohoo, beautiful. Yeah. So I know you're going to be excited with the CDS for the club. So <laughs> hi, Paula. Hi, Angel. Hi, Kay. Hi, Lorraine. Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. So um, like I said, so this one. Now, the other thing is that there is a designer series paper included on this one, right? Which you can see, I'm pretty much done with this pack. I only have like two sheets of paper and then all these little scraps i've been using it a lot i feel like this one is a really great i love the color combinations that they have there is one sheet in particular that has which of course i don't know which one it is but you can see this one you can die cut this with the dies and there's another one that has um there's another one that has, uh, yeah, this one. So this one, you can also, you cannot like cut, but you can cut it out, the images, to make up your car. So I think that this is another good one for, like, uh, making embellishments, if you will. And then there should be another one here. Oh, this one has the little, uh, like, the, to this one, too. Like I said, I am showing you here. I know that it's not the best way to show then you have this one with the Calypso Coral. It's just that I only have scraps left. That's pretty much it. And then I wanted to share with you the one that has... Uh, there's one paper that has... Um, hmm. I don't know what I did with it now. Um, if I have any more of that, probably not. There's one that has like has, um, like lines. And I'm sure... I'll check if I have any of the... Oh, here. The one with the coffees. Yeah, this one. See? You have this one. And I love, hi, Sandy. I love uh, the color combinations that you can get from this paper pack. So anyway, so let's get it started. Let's get it started. Um, then um, also the ribbon that comes in this collection or in this suite is this one. I shared this last time. I particularly didn't like this much because it's too stiff. So if you're making bows, and I'll make one so you can see it, it's... I mean, you can do it, but it's like too bulky. So I wasn't that thrilled. So I think this is going to be one of those that you can use like to embellish something, right? Like just as a, you know, like an designing something flat, 
but not really to make bows, which if you know me, I love making bows. So I was a little bit disappointed to see that it's very stiff. Although I do like the pocket dots, right? I do like, and I feel like that's the beauty of uh, putting them in your cards flat. So I might use it like so in one of my cards, we'll see, um, because I think that's the only way I'm gonna be using this ribbon on that. Um, the other thing was the dots that I said that I thought I lost, but I have them. And this one is the adhesive back swirl dots. Now, these ones are not available right now. Believe it or not, they are already sold out. Although, they're going to come back sometime in April. I think it says April 15, if I remember correctly. Um, and they go really well with this suite. But to be honest, you can use other dots. It's not the end of the world. We can use something else. In fact, for my cards today, I was thinking... Um, I could use one of the dots that we get, and I don't know if I put them here. Maybe I don't. Oh, yeah. One of the dots that we got from, like, celebration time, right? Like, the colors in this, um, let's see here. The colors in this pack, and these were the ones that we got free at during celebration. But anyway, the colors really go with this suite. They have the browns, the coral, and the Los Lagoon pool party type of color. So I thought, I'm going to be using this one just because... Otherwise, when I'm going to be using them and understanding that these are not available, right? Um, but you can use anything else. The other one that I was thinking you could use, it's the sequence, the neutral sequence. I think that's another one that is a great one to use. Or if you like the sparkling, you can use the sparkle gems as well. So just pick some uh, gems that work. Honestly, you just don't get over complicated if you don't if you see that something is not available. Okay, just pick something else. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Oh, you can also use pearls. There's some other pearls that will also look well. So anyway, so again, just just something it will look good. So anyway, so with that being said, let's just go ahead and bring our cart number one. And um, so I have already die cut some of the pieces just for the sake of time. And so I did the two cups and um i didn't realize that but there's these two cups and each of them you know it's like their handles are opposite so they kind of so you can put them like so you know so if you want them to be the same because i was thinking you can probably stack them you know how sometimes you stack the something like this right where you put them like so then just cut out two of the same but if you put them like these I mean, you could do that, but, you know, they don't look as cute as when they have them all in the same direction. Or in this case, I want to put them, like, clinging. Is that right? I don't know if that's the word. Where I have the coffee and, like, you're, you know, doing this. I don't know how to say that, but you're, like, clinging your, your mugs. I don't know. So, anyway, that's what I was thinking with this one's in the opposites. And then there's also these die. So, this is this. And then this die is, like, the little coffee that goes inside of your mug right um so i've used the pecan pie mainly because i cut out this one in early espresso and then this um which is this let me just show you here so this one is that right um that's how it looks i did put adhesive sheets so that it's already a sticker and then i cut out this thing with a clear acetate so this is the our window sheets right uh just to make it you know like a crystal thing right so that's what i was going for something like this i guess and then because i use this one in early espresso i thought at the time oh i should probably use some other color so that coffee is really black because that's really how it looks in the coffee machine <laughs> but because I already put the adhesive sheets, I was like, let's just leave it like that. And let's just assume our coffee is not that strong. And so I put it in pecan pie. So this is how it looks. But I understand that um, it might be nicer to have these with the early espresso. Just because typically on a, you know, on a coffee maker, you get a really dark. So anyway, but mine, as you can see, it's not, it's not so strong of a coffee, if you will. So this is how it looks. Um, then... I have a, this, this die is from the, oh, I forgot the name. Let me show you. It's a new one to, hold on. Let me check if I find it here. Well, I'm not finding it, but it's one of our news. What did I do with it? I probably had it inside of the house. 
You know, lately I've been die cutting more at home or inside home. And so I don't have all my pieces here, but it's from the mini catalog. I'll share with you here in a second. Oh, here. I'm like, where is this thing? I have my mini catalog. Let's, let's look. Let's look. Cause I feel bad when I'm like, oh, this is from this set and I have no clue what's the name. Give me one second and I'll, I'll show you. It's this one, the everyday details. And it is on page 34. Ooh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's not 34. What, what am I doing here? Oh my goodness, 30, no, 28, sorry, it's 28. I'm like, wait, what? That doesn't look like that. So here it is. So it is the set from here, and you can see it right there, but it is this one. And again, I'm sorry I don't have the dice with me right here so you can see them, but they are really great. All of the dice have some sort of um, like little holes that they make them look even nicer, you know? And so for labels, this is an amazing one. Um, hi, Holy. The one thing that I would say is use a dry sheet underneath. So you put your plate. So think this is your big shot plate or your cut and embossed machine, your plate, then put your paper, put the die and then actually no, put your dry sheet, then put your paper, then the die, another acrylic, and then send it through. And the, uh, the dryer sheet will get all of the little holes. So you don't have to be poking one by one. So it, it works like magic. I, I'm really excited to see that. So anyway, so you do that with this set. Just because there's a little bit too many holes. And then you have to be poking them out as you're die cutting them. But with the dryer sheet underneath, it works like magic. So anyway, you have that one. And it is the largest of the circles from that set. My car base is um, early espresso. Eight and a half by five and a half. And then I have a piece of basic white. And this one is four by five and a quarter, yeah. And then I have two pieces of designer series paper and you just choose coordinating patterns. Um, this one are two and a quarter by five and one eighth. All right, so Holly says, do you have to, you, do you use a new or a used dryer sheet? I so far use newer. You know, I've never used a uh, used one, so I don't know if that works, but I think it might not because the kind of like the softener makes the little dots to adhere to the little dots. So I think that once you use it, you kind of lost all that gooey, if you think, from that softener on the dryer sheet, you know? So I think it might not work. You can try it and see if that works. But I'll be honest, I hardly ever use dryer sheets. The only dryer sheets I bought was really for these. <laughs> so I don't know exactly how they get out of the get out of the uh dryer machine. <laughs> but yeah, just check it out and, and let us know. Let us know how that works. Um but anyway, but yeah, I've only used them um new now the other thing i was thinking because of the colors see like this looks kind of cool as well so i might just change i think i kind of like this one better i think i i like this better actually oh goodness gracious i'm gonna change see i was going with the browns but i think this one cannot makes it even happier so i'm gonna go with this one um see i'm always changing things on the go <laughs> um Anyway, I do have here some other scraps. I'll take this scrap. Actually, I might have a smaller one from when I am die cutting. So I might use this one for my sentiment, maybe. Oh, maybe uh, one of the, what is this color? Loli lemon. Uh, the lemon loli. Oh, yeah, maybe we do that one. Hold on. Hold on. Because now I'm changing everything. So let me get the lemon loli if I have something here with that color. Because I'm kind of liking how it's looking. Here it is. Give me a second. I'm, I'm kind of liking. Okay. Good. Oh, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Whew. There we go. I'm like, is this? I'm so sorry. I move everything. Does that better? I think it is. Oh, my gosh. Let me. Sorry. Let me just turn things here. I think it is now. Whew. Okay, but I think this one will work better. Uh, yes, I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with this. 
So anyway, um, I like I said, I did add already adhesive sheets on these. So we're just gonna go ahead and and where is my little trash can? I feel like I'm losing everything here. Every single time I come, I lose everything. So I'm gonna put them here for right now. But I know I have like a little trash can. Hmm. All right, so I have that one. See, like we've already served some of the coffee here, you know? Doop, doop, doop. And I almost always forget to do this part. And so I'm excited that I didn't this time. See, like I can have them this way. Looks nice. And then as far as um, colors, I thought of using these two. Okay. Which is the early espresso. And the, what is this called? Pecan pie. Give me one second here. I'm trying to find my, my trash can, but I guess... I don't have it here. I don't know what I did with it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did with it. All right, so I'm going to let it go. Like, whatever, it's somewhere here. Now, for this one, I'm going to do the same. And there's like a little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little thing here that I'm going to try to cover, right? So it looks like this. Yes. I think. Oh, hi, Florence. So let's just, and again, I just went with the whole, um, uh, what am I saying here? We're just using adhesive sheets. Um, I'm trying to think how would I, help this see like I don't want to be oh my goodness I have like there we go I'm like how do I line things up there you go you want to make sure you have this on this section see like it's wrapping it i don't know if you can kind of see it here it's hard to see because it's clear that's the problem it's clear i don't know that you can really see much better here you see that maybe you can see it better okay so i went with a window sheet because i felt like this is always glass don't you think so and even then i want it to be this way there we go okay so that's how it looks Ooh, and I must have moved something here. Whatever, it looks okay. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, maybe I should just move this one a little bit. Oh, there you go. There we go, much better, see? Okay, so that's how I'm gonna put it. And then this one is gonna go, hmm. So I'm trying to, not full things here, but anyway. And this one is gonna go right here, okay? So it looks like there's coffee already there. Now for this window, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this section first, you know? And then I'm gonna add this one right there because it already has glue, but this one does not. So let's go ahead just for this part first, since I already have these. Uh, where is my adhesive here? I'm like, where is the adhesive? Oh, we'll clean this up later. Okay, so I'm going to put it somewhere here. And then I can glue this because everything else has adhesive here, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and line it up here. And now I have those pieces there. See? And so I don't know. I mean, it looks nice, but I don't know that you can see it well on the, on the screen. But we have here everything right there. 
okay? And then I'm going to be adding these ones. Now, these ones are going to go with dimensionals, which... Ooh, I took my dimensionals out because I was working on something. Let me see. Oh, good. I'm like, huh. Like, I took them out. And... I didn't bring them back. This is why this is the only reason why I don't really like having like two places to work, you know? Because I have my crap room, but then lately I end up cutting the kids inside the house. Um just to be with the kiddos, right, too. So um we can watch TV together or something, you know? And I'm not by myself here on the crap room. And oh my gosh, I'm really missing my little trash can. And then I'm gonna have this one come right there. Okay. And then for this one, I'm gonna bring the, um, what is this called? Pierce mat. Okay, and I want to have the one that says let's cut chop. Okay, I, th I like that sentiment a lot. Oh, thank you so much, Sonia, for sharing it. So I'm going to be having something like this. Like I could probably, ooh, I could probably move this one. Well, we'll see. We'll leave it right now there. And maybe I just add this one. Come here. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring the early espresso. And what do you do with the stamp set? Oh, here. And I want the, oh, this one. You can see I've been using it a lot. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Let's just bring this one. And I'll probably put it like so here. Now, this one, you saw, it was just a scrap. This one is like one inch by four. We're going to be using less. But I'm going to stamp it somewhere here and then we'll play with it, right? Just to see how I put it. The other thing is I'm not sure if I want pecan pie or the early espresso. I'm going to go with early espresso just because this one has early espresso. But we'll see. And uh, I feel like I'm missing some. Oh, the kiddos just came. Here we go. The kiddos just came back from their gymnastics. <laughs> and I can hear them already. I'm going to put right now everything on this side and then we'll throw everything away. So here we go. So I have those. We'll cut it out in a second. So this is like my focal point. And then we're going to go ahead and... Let me take those already. Um, okay. And now for this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to cut out. Let me fold this one first. So we're just going to fold it right in the center, right? Or right in half. And then we're going to cut these pieces. So I'm going to cut it um, towards me so that I can see some of the white areas. Oh, thank you so much, John, for sharing. It always helps me when you share. So thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And so I'm turning it towards me so that I can that edge. And so this is going to go right here. And then I'm going to be doing the same on this one, okay? And I'll be... And then I'll have this one come here. So you only see a little bit of it, right? And then we're going to have this one come here. And then I'll have this one here. And of course, I'm going to be cutting it. Um, so that's how this one looks. I'm going to go ahead and... So originally, I had it this way. Which I think it would have looked okay. But I think I like the other one better. It looks more, you know, cheerful, right? So I'm glad that we changed it. And there's too much white here. So I'm going to move this one this way. All right. So let's go ahead and add the adhesive. So 
So now we're going to go ahead and glue this one right here. And then we're going to be doing the same on the side. <sighs> oh, which one? The browns or the bright colors? Uh, Florence, which one do you like better? This one or the other one? The browns? I like this one a lot more just because, you know, it's cheerful. But, you know, I mean, you can change the paper, right? So, here's how it looks. So then, I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive on this whole thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Oh, the cheerful. Okay. Yeah, I think that this one looks kind of nice. I really like it too. I think that one was like too much brown. But see how nice it looks? Now, let's just work with these. Um, let me get my cutter. So first, I will probably just cut like around there. So it's like... Less than three inches, so like two and seven eighths. Um, and I'm cutting it to, I don't know, like three and like seven eighths almost, you know? So I might cut it at seven eighths, I think. It's okay. Is that right? There we go. Oh, thank you, Florence. But honestly, I'm just using the colors from the designer series paper. So, you know, so I'll have this one come right here, you know. Ooh, and then I can put a, a bow. How about that? Yes. So I'm liking how it looks there and it gives me enough to kind of grab it and these are, don't look like floating. I think it looks nice. And then I'm going to add a bow. Now for bows, I was thinking going with the, what is this? The pecan pie. And I should have here some twine or linen thread, which of course, I don't know what I did with it. Cause you know me, oh here, you know me, I keep losing everything. <laughs> um, so like this. All right, so now, see, this one still looks good, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a bow. See, and even though this is um, a wider bow, it is still is a good, you know, it's not as stiff as the other one, which is what I like in a bow. I want it to be um, not stiff, you know? For bows, you know, it doesn't, I don't know. They need to lay nicely. There we go. So I could have it like this. Yeah, see, it looks kind of nice. I'm going to go with that. Um. All right, so let's just go ahead. It's driving me nuts that I don't have my little trash can here. It really is bugging me. And I know it's here. Like, I know it's here. It's just where it is. And. Oh, here. See? I, I told you. It was here. I'm like, it's driving me nuts that I don't know where it is. Like, mm. Anyway, so let's go ahead and now we'll start putting everything here. So I'm going to put it up so that I can have this one right here and then this one right there. Okay? So that's how this one is going to go. Now, this one is going to go with dimensionals. Yeah, exactly, John. The pocket dust ribbon, not good for a bow. Exactly. Wish, I wish they had made it, you know, like softer or thinner, you know? Because I love the pocket dots. I think it was a great design. It's just the ribbon, mm, not, not what I was expecting, right? But anyway, we'll make it work, you know, with other projects. But yeah. All right, and then this one, we're going to go ahead and add a 
By the way, who from here, because I know some people are from that, that watch me are demonstrators, but who from here are going to go to Houston? Let me know. And if you see me there, please say hello. I am super shy. <laughs> but I always love, 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 love when people say hello. So if you see me, please say hello. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm very shy, but I would love to meet as many of you. So if you're there, say hello. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to be, oh, not, not right there. Because I don't want it to be covering it. There you go. So I'm going to have it like so. See? So I'm not be covering it. And then I might add another little bow there. Right? You know me. I'm going to go ahead one of those. You can leave it like so. All is good. Um, or we can add some extra loops. And you know that I love making these type of bows nowadays. Right? Um, but anyway, I'm very excited with going to Houston. Although, I'll be honest, I'm kind of stressing out too. Just because um, from work, I have way too many things going on at this time. So this is not my best time for being outside the office. I'll be very honest. <laughs> so I'm stressing out. I'm bringing my computer just in case. But, you know, it's. I know I will be stressing out a little bit. And then, of course, it's also spring break, which I didn't plan this that well, you know. So there's a spring break with my kiddos. So, mm, it's a little bit kind of crazy, um, you know, but um, I'm excited, though. I am very excited, and um, I know it's going to be super fun. So, anyway, now we're going to go ahead and add this one right here, you know, and then we're just going to go ahead and cut this one and this one. Just to make it go. There we go. All right. So then we're going to go. And like I said, I'm going to be using the dots from Celebration. You know, because they go really well with this. Um, you could use the dots from this collection too. If you have them. Like I said, these are going to come back fairly soon. Or you can use the uh, sequins. I know there's some sequins here as well. Let me show you which ones I'm thinking. They... Um, Neutrals sequence. This would also be another one. Look at the colors, right? Like all of these will go really well. So you can choose whichever you want. Like I said, I just I'm just gonna be using this ones because I already have them here. And I think I'm gonna go with the with the what is this color? Calypso. You know? Just since I have Calypso everywhere. Um there we go. And we just have another one right there. And I'm going to leave it like that. We can use as many, but I think this one looks okay. So what do you think, huh? Really nice, don't you think? I really love this die um, set. So anyway, so let me go with cart number two. So now cart number two. It's, um, so you know how much I love sketches, right? And for this one... I actually started with, I knew I wanted to do the other coffee maker, right? The other coffee thing. And I thought, okay, let's do this. And um, I thought, if I put it this way, I want same thing. We have the two cups here, as you can see. Doo -doo -doo. And, um, and I have this piece. I thought, oh, this will be really nice if I put it like so here with the little two cups. And then something here that says this one is on me. I thought that was really good. I love that sentiment. And I feel like I could easily make it, um, what am I saying? A, um, a gift card holder, right? Like if I put something inside, I can make it a gift card holder. Um... So I thought I could use I could use this one fairly easy for any occasion. So I'm gonna be stamping that, and then 
once I have this piece, really that's what I have. I was like, how do I make it? How do I make it? So literally I just went through my sketches and you know how I have my little uh, book of, you know, all the sketches. And so I decided to go with the 148. Look how it looks, right? So I just knew I had like a piece like so. And I'm like, this is going to be perfect. So I'm going to go with that one. And you're going to see how, how it's going to look. So anyway, so this one, same thing. We have early espresso, eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to fold it in half and then use uh, the bone folder. By the way, I know some people ask me about the uh, sketches PDF thing that I have here with me. That one is part of the card making 101. Uh, so if you took card making 101, I know some of you have, um, you have it there on module three. So make sure you have it. It already has 162 sketches. I'm already planning to add more because I've been, you know, every time I find a card that I like, I kind of sketch it out so that I can remember to use it. Um, so it's, it's going to continue growing. <laughs> And, um, but anyway, if you want more information about Car Making 101, let me know. I'll send you the link, of course. Um, but anyway, let me just go through measurements here. So this is Los Lagoon, and it is five and a quarter by four. And this one is an eight of an inch smaller. So this one is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So we're going to go ahead and glue, before we do that, though, I want to glue this one before we do that. And now this one is two inches by four. Oh, actually no by three and seven eighths because this is enough for this one and then i have um early espresso and this one is one inch by three and seven eighths okay so let's go ahead and glue these pieces all right so we want this one to go somewhere here following our sketch And then I'm going to go ahead and add this one, like, right here in the middle. Mm. Oh, see? Well, can I move it? Hold on. Give me a second. Can I? Ugh. I think I can't. Uh, let me just make it. I was able to. Let me just put it back. Yes. Oh. Okay. So now, this is the one where I was probably thinking we could maybe use these. See? Like, I could use that one. Or the other one that I was thinking is, again, using this one and make it a bow. So I'm still kind of debated. Because if I do a bow, it looks nice, a bow. I might go with the bow just because I love the bows. And I don't know that if I add this one, how would the bow... I mean, it's okay. I could still add the bow, you know? Like, we, if we add this one like so... Let me do a bow. How about that? This is where I started like, mm, how do we, how does this look? So I started just making things and then go from there. Doop, doop, doop. Let me just check these. Uh, okay. Oh, Angel. Oh yeah, thank you. So it says, uh, thank you for sending me the link. I sign up. I know. Oh, thank you, Angel. So see, so she is an avid stamper. She said that car making 101 is kind of cool. So thank you so much for, for that. Yeah. Even for avid stampers like yourself. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I go into so many things there and yes. And the whole idea of the car making 101 is that then you learn how to design your own cars. And you know me, I love using uh, sketches. So that's primarily what I share there. Um, but there's also coloring tips and uh, how to make bows. For instance, I do have a whole section on bows. Um, so anyway, so definitely lots of good information. So I think it does look well, to be honest. I don't see too much of a difference. So I'm going to go up with this and then the bow. 
See, we're going to make it work. We have this ribbon. We're going to be using it. <laughs> okay, so now that I know that, then I can go ahead and glue this one. Yeah, we probably can. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one first. Ooh, you know what? Hold on. If I put it like so, and then I glue it to the whole thing, and then raise this one. Oh, I think that would be better. Just because I can add dimensionals, and then it's not super thick. Okay, so I'm going to go that route then. Let's just go this way. So first glue this. See, this is where I go with the whole, how do we assemble things right always on the go here so we're gonna go ahead and glue this one all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and bring our tear and tape it's all right and i'm just gonna give a little bit more oh And a little bit more just because okay so now I'm gonna go ahead at this one So I want to make sure. See? So this one is great for decoration, but not so much for the bows. But look how beautiful this looks, right? And so now I'm going to go ahead and add dimensionals because that way this is too, you know, like bulky. If I put it flat, it will go okay. Like it will look okay. But there's still a little bit of a bulky here. So I'm going to be adding dimensionals instead. So it should go fine. And I don't think I have my mini dimensionals right this second. So we're going to cut a little bit of this. All right, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one opens like so. And so now I'm going to have this one come. like this oh thank you so much all right so now let's do the stamping here oh my goodness did i lose my little cups oh no here here there i'm like oh goodness gracious so i'm gonna do some stamping here and so i'm gonna bring the early espresso again and then just put this one is on me Oh my goodness, this is not gluing anymore. Whenever that happens, it's because it's already like too, like too, um, hold on, let me pick it up. Like dirty, you know, like it has some oil from when you've been touching it. So just clean it up. Sometimes you do have to use like soapy water, but sometimes just by cleaning it. Yeah, see, like you just clean it, you take all the, oh my goodness. All the um, um, oils, I guess, that sometimes you have in your hands. Trying to make sure, like somehow I end up with ink in my hands, of course. So now, 
Okay. So if you ever had something like that going on, just clean it up, you know, and it will be sticking again. Just sometimes, you know, as you use them, you get some of your oils. So you just clean it, rinse it up with water, soapy water, or just with your chamois. You saw I only clean it with the chamois. Like, I didn't do anything special, and it worked. And um, I would put this one right there. And then have this here. I feel like I want to add the um the stain you know like the stain of the yeah let's do the stain i feel like we need to add more stamp here do, do, do. all right let's bring the other stamp okay so i am loving by the way this is the uh, suite that we use for our on-stage event. So um, after the class, which is going to take place on Thursday, I will be posting images. I didn't even want, we didn't want to be spoiling how the, the stamps or the um, samples looked, you know. But after the event i will be posting samples so that you can get more ideas with this set okay um jennifer and i created eight more samples and so i'm going to use just this scrap for right now you can see it's being well used and for this one i'm going to go ahead and use the pecan pie now i'm going to stamp off first and then just have it like this and then again, like that. And then I'm gonna be doing the same with this one. See? Just to have something there, okay? What do you use for the coffee pot? It's shiny. Okay, for the pocky, for the for this one, it's just a window sheet, which is like an acetate, right? Um, like an acetate paper, if you will. So this one, I've seen where people use bellum too. I went with a uh, window sheet. That's what it is. Okay. So it's just a window sheet. All right. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, did I lose the other one? Oh, no, it's here. I keep saying, let me glue them because I'll be thinking that I am losing them every single time. And again, I added uh, the adhesive sheets that we have. You get a pack. Um, well, I don't know. Yeah, you get 12. Yeah, you get 12 of these. You can see I'm on my last one. Um, but it's 6 by 12. And then you just cut a piece, right? And then add it to your to your designer series paper. Not the designer, but to the cardstock. And I don't know what I did to the cut. Here, I think I had it here. See, like I just added a little bit there and then cut it out from there. That way I have the sticky, like a sticker, which I love for things like these. Because um, then you're not messing up with the liquid glue and all that jazz. So, you know. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue this one now that I have those pieces. And... This is uh, Los Lagoon, and it, this I die cut it with the Escalope Contour dies. From the largest to the smallest one is the third one in size, and then this piece is two by three and a quarter. I believe. Hold on, yeah, three and a quarter. So this one is two by three and a quarter, and it fits perfectly on that area, and leaving a little bit of a. See, you have it like so. Now, for this one, same as what we did on the other one, we're going to go ahead and put the handle. And the handle goes right here. And then this section is going to be glued down. Right? So. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna leave right now this one for a second so that I can glue it down, right? And I'm gonna go ahead, this one goes this way. So I'm just gonna calculate where this one should go. So somewhere here, right? So somewhere here. And I'm putting this so I know All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add this one. And it's gonna it's gonna be kind of attached by the handle, that's right, and then by the lid here. Because those are the only things that have the adhesive. So this one goes right here. See that? So you have your little coffee thing. Coffee maker, I guess. And then we're gonna be adding also the two cups. See that? So I have it like that. Um, okay. What do we need? Yes, dimensionals. What do we need? A dimensional here and a dimensional right there. Something like that, see? Looks kinda nice. And then I'm gonna be adding this one right there. And I can put my bow here again, okay? Let me move this one to the side. Um, and the bow, where is my bow? Did I not do the bow? Yes, I did. I'm like, did I not do the bow? So I can have the bow right here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, it kind of looks nice right there. I was thinking at the beginning somewhere here, but I don't like it there because it covers the the coffee uh, maker. But I would put it right there, you know? It looks okay. Although I'm kind of wasting a little bit more of ribbon of more than I would like, I would say. Not a lot, but yeah, you know. I don't like wasting too much of the ribbon. All right, so now, Let's go, oh, before we do that, let's glue this one. And I'm gonna be using dimensionals for these. And like I said, um, next, uh, yeah, I think by Friday, right? Or maybe Thursday afternoon, right? If I remember that part though. Um, I will post pictures of the other cars because I'm very excited. All of the cars for on stage are super cute. So I know you're gonna love seeing more examples with this whole suite. Do, do, do. Okay, now let's add this one. Right. Yeah. And I don't like when bows are kind of outside because sometimes it's harder. So I'm gonna cut it this way instead. And then I'm gonna do also another of these multi loops ribbon or bow not ribbon but bow uh i think that they always add too much i'm gonna be doing now this one with three you can do these as many as you want i think three it's okay two maybe even four depending on how fuller you want it i think that's okay and then we're gonna go ahead and pass it through oh didn't go through And then pull, and then just making it look okay. All 
Okay, I feel like this one. Which one is pulling this one? This one, okay. I'm like, which one is pulling that one? Because I was like, this one looks... There we go. I was like, this one looks like too big. So you just rearrange a little bit and then you're done. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get the... And you can skip this part, right? Because it already has the one bow, but I don't know why. I'm liking putting the linen thread on top. It adds something, something to this card, to be honest. What do you think? Again, you can just, if it is too much for you, you can leave it with the one bow. Because like this one... <laughs> Uses three ribbons, as you can see. Uses the burlap with the pocket dust. Then you use the pecan pie and then linen thread. So I think it's getting a little bit overboard. It looks okay in my head, but you know. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring um, the dots. And then I might just add here and there. I'm thinking, ooh, maybe we go with the brown ones this time, you know, rather than the blues. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the browns for this one. I have not used too many of those, so let's start using them. Because sometimes I end up um, getting way too many of one. Oh, what happened? It's just not moving or what? So I might just go ahead. You know what? I'm going to be adding one here. One there. And then two more there. Um... I'm going to put them right here. Right? And then maybe one more there. There you go. All right. So, there you have it. Here's our cart number two. Looks kind of nice, right? If you're just joining us, this is cart number one. And like it is, the dice are just amazing. So anyway, we're just going to go with our third and final card. And we're going almost with the same color combination. I do have a scraps just because I don't know which one I'm going to be using. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll figure out. Um, I did pull some things here. Um, so similar as the other one, we're using uh, Early Espresso 8.5 by 5.5. And I am using for this one, let me just see, I think it's on the same page, but I am using sketch 147 from these sketches. So that's what inspired me for this card. Um, so we have a piece of, I think it's four by five and a quarter. Yeah, four by five and a quarter. So this one is going to go right here. Oh, thank you, John. Doop, doop, doop. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and add this too. Now, this one is three by four and a quarter. And this one is two and seven eighths by four and one eight. So it's an eight of an inch smaller. So we're going to go ahead and glue this one already here. All right, and this is going to go right here. I'm not going to do anything just yet because I don't know yet what we're going to be doing with this. But I do have some scraps that I might be using as like little banners. I have a circle uh, that I punch out with the 2 and 3 8 circle. This is an online exclusive, the punch. Uh, they're not on any of our publications, so just go online at stampingup.com. And then you can find on the online exclusives the 2 inches, sorry, the 2 by 3 8 inches um uh, punch okay so that's gonna go right here uh so let's do the stamping and then we'll go from there because i don't know yet what we're gonna be doing with this like how we're gonna be arranging it um i did however i saw um 
on my dots. I already stamped, as you can see. I'm going to be using this one. But there is like a coffee, like a coffee thing from the stamp set. Which, what did I do with the stamp set? My goodness, did I lose the stamp set now? Okay, it was right here. What did I do with it? Oh, no, it's not. Oh my goodness. Oh, here. Look. Oh my goodness. All right, so there is this. So I just stamp it with pecan pie and then die cut it. There is a die. You can die cut it, um, which is this one. Okay. So just for the sake of time, let's just use that one. I have, because we're going to be doing this one as well. So I'm going to bring my pierce mat and... We're going to be doing a coffee thing here. So we have this one. I've been using this one a lot, so let me just kind of clean it a little bit. Just because I've been using it a lot. A lot. So anyway, so we have this one. And we're going to be stamping it right here with the... Um, early espresso. So fairly simple, very easy. This is pool party scrap, as you can see, nothing fancy. We have that. We're going to bring our, um, oh, for the sentiment. Hmm. I could use the one that says let's cut shop, you know, cause I do have, I do have friends where I could easily send a card like that. Right. So maybe I go with this one instead of the pink. So let's just that one as well. Let's just use that and see what happens, you know? Let's use that. Hello there, let's get chop. I love that one. There we go. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to die cut this piece. We have that one already. And what am I doing? Oh, die cut. I'm like, what am I doing? Die cut. Oh, where is the dice? Where are the dice? I'm like, what am I doing? I feel like my mind whew, forgets everything fairly quickly nowadays. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I'm not remembering things like I used to. You know, it's not funny, but yeah, I'm not like, I don't know the amount of things that I used to remember. It was just oof, a lot, but as I am getting older, it's not happening. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and all right, so now. We have these. So fairly simple. You could also cut out this one in white, color it with blends. I just wanted to make it, you know, easy and simple. Because I'm already, you know. So Sometimes I feel like I take forever in too many things, right? Um, so anyways, I wanted to make this one kind of easy. And I went with um, Pool Party for this one. Just because it's like a lighter shade of, the, of this color, right? Uh, let's go ahead and cut this one as well. I feel like I'm getting... Oh, yeah. yeah like, lately, that's exactly what's happening. Like, I have to be writing down everything. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Wait until I'm seven. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, imagine. Imagine how I'm going to be when I am 70. Like, if I am already, you know, forgetting everything... <laughs> <laughs> right like just imagine how it's gonna be <laughs> okay so now for this one i'm gonna put a just because this one is a small i have my craft sheet which you can use and that's the best however i have it in the in the house because i was making a gazillion of these and so i don't have it here it's in my house so anyway Do -do -do. All right, we're going to go ahead and put it like so. And see, it looks like you have your coffee right there. And then we have this one right here. 
So this is how it's looking. How does this open? Hold on before. Sometimes, yes. All right, so we have that one. And then I was thinking to put this one like in different angles, right? Like I can put this one and that one, you know? I feel like I need to have this one as well. So I think that looks okay. And then have the little bow somewhere here, don't you think? Yeah. Just to follow that. And maybe for this one, I just go with the the other one. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I go with the whole thing. Oh, and then I thought, well, maybe we add a little scrap of this one. Ooh, that kind of add a little something, don't you think? Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing things down and let's go from there, you know? All right, so I'm going to lay this one flat because of all of these and then raise this one. Is that right? Ooh, maybe I do that. Maybe I have everything on the back. And then this one will raise it. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, maybe I do like that idea. Again, this is where I start with the, how do we assemble things, right? Okay, so this one is that way. And then this one, I might need to put it also like in an angle. Where are my paper ones? Yeah. I might cut a little bit more of this one. There you go. Okay, so I have that one raised up on this. And then have this one and that one. Yeah, I think it's okay. All right. So I'm going to have this one flat. Let's go flat with these. Oh, thank you, Nympha. <laughs> You're saying you're really feeling this car. <laughs> well, I hope you're liking it. All right. Then this one is going to be popped up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring dimensionals on these. Like I said, this set is a super cute set. Uh, I am in love with this set, honestly. Um, doop, doop, doop. Okay, so I'm gonna have this one like so. And then same thing with this one. This is gonna go with dimensionals. Although, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, I might need to cut a little bit from here, you know? Because... I don't have too much space here. See, like I have to have this one right there. And then have this one come here. So I might need to cut even more here. See, this is where we need to start. Where you start kind of seeing how do you line these things up? I might put a bow right here, you know? I might just put a bow. Ooh. Okay. Okay, definitely here there's it's okay to be adding the dimensionals on this side. This is the rest where I'm not really sure yet. But I have it like so and then have yeah that would work. Okay, so let me just go ahead and add All right, so I'm going to go ahead and have this one right here and then have this one come this way, 
Yes. So I'm going to have it this way. All right, so I lose that part. It's good. So let me put this one flat now, now that I know. See, I don't, sometimes I get too far ahead of myself and then I glue things and then I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so where do I need this? This one is gonna go this way. Okay. There we go. And so now this one is going to go right here and it's inside. The only thing that I, I am trying to make sure is that I'm not outside this frame. You know, that's the only thing. So that's the only thing that I'm always kind of protecting in a way. Right. Um, okay. So now I'm going to be adding this one like so. And I can cut out a piece as well. So somewhere here, you know, like this. Yes. And then I don't think I need as wide of this one. I might need a smaller one. So let's just cut a little bit of piece. Like maybe like three inches is fine, but not only that, I need it to be a smaller. Like this one was like, an inch, so I might just want a little bit smaller, larger than, you know, like just smaller scrap. All right, like something, see, like something like that. And this one, I'll cut this one this way, same way, I'm gonna go Like this. Yeah, I think it looks nice that way, you know? So let's just go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and put for a second this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, are you Charky? No, I don't think that's your name, right? <laughs> you don't say stamping off the Mr. Charky Stampy Shack. <laughs> so, hi, how are you? What's your name? Is that Charky? No, I don't think it's your name. Is that your name? I'm sorry if it is. I've never seen that name. Um, so if it is, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not making fun or anything. I'm just like, what's your name? Lisa. Okay, now I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to Houston? Lisa. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add this one like right here. See, I am loving this car. I'm serious, you know, like this one. It's looking really nice. And instead of the other boat, just because I have too much going on, I'm just going to go the or do the. Um, um, the loop. The loopy twine, you know, linen thread, not twine, but linen thread, bow, and then add some dots, and then we're done. I think this is my favorite. I don't know. This might be my favorite car. I do like how it's turning out. Oh, man. Oh, it would be nice to meet you one day. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you are recovering well from surgery. I'm sorry to hear that. But I hope you're getting better. Recovering, you know. And yeah, hopefully one day we get to meet. I feel like this one is like twisted a little bit. All right, all right, so now let's go. Where is the... All 
Oh, wow. Yeah, it's low recovery for sure. Well, take it easy on you, you know. Follow your doctor's instructions. I think that's the most important thing. And take it easy on you. Don't overdo it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add this one. And as you can see, I'm battling with this guy here. But I'm gonna be adding it like right there. Because it's linen thread, you cannot see through. You know, you can still kind of see through what it says. So it doesn't matter, it kind of Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm glad to hear it, Lisa. I think that's the most important thing, you know? That is awesome. All right, now the next, the last thing on this one is, where are the dots? Oh, here, I'm like, where are the dots? Is we're gonna be adding some of the blue ones in this one. You could go with the browns. I mean, the browns will look really nice too. Now that I said that. And I might like the, I might go with the browns again, you know? Oh goodness, the blues also look nice, but I think the brown will pop up more because there's already like too much blue going on, I guess. So let's go with brown, but I think the blue will also look good. But yeah, I think the browns kind of pop up good on this one too. And I'm gonna be putting hello there. There you go. And we have our last card of the night. How about that? Um, let me move all of these things out of the way. Let's bring all of the other things. Um, let me just put this one out. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think my favorite is going to be this one. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think I love it. So anyway... Like I said at the beginning, just because I am traveling this week and then shortly after I'm going to be also traveling again, I won't be doing the car kit for these weeks. If I have time, I may include some of this, right, on the whole kit thing going on. But for this week, my ordering special is that for every $35 using this host code, you're going to get a different kit um, of, uh, of the Facebook Lives. I've been building a little bit of a stash. And so you're going to get a packet like this, right? These were the Jungle Pals. These were the excellent eggs from like two weeks ago, I think. This one, I don't remember what it was. Oh, I think it's the Softly something. I don't remember. It's the one from Celebration. This one was the Petal. Oh, uh, I don't know. Sentimental Park, I think it is. This one was with the... oh. Mandarin Meadow. So again, I have different kits at home as well. I just want to bring you like, a, so that you can see it's gonna be all different. So every $35, you'll get one of the card kits in the mail. Um, so if you spend 30, you get one. If you spend 70, you get two. And then when you place an order of $50, you also get a pack of designer series paper, which of course, I don't know what I did with them, but I show them, oh, here. I show them so something like this, right? And every single one is going to be different. Um, but with an order of $50, you get a pack of the designer series paper, six by six, and it comes with 48 sheets. And um, and I think that's it. Now, if you order 150, please do not use the host code. You still get all the goodies, um, but you also get the host rewards from Stampin' Up. So again, if you're ordering 150 or more, do not use the host code. Any other orders, make sure you order uh, through these host codes so that you get a kit for every $35. There's no limits. All right, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like I said, let me know which one is your favorite. Um, and if you're going to Houston, I'll see you in Houston. <laughs> let me just see. Uh, oh, <laughs> Lisa, you say you love, oh, can you all, can I love them all? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. And I hope you get better soon. Uh, Lisa, um, Florian says she likes the first one, but they all look, uh, but they all are pretty. Thank you so much. Uh, Flo says, uh, a view, a wonderful class as usual. Thank you. My favorite is between one and three. I know. I like this one a lot. Um, Sonia says the cars are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Sonia. And by the way, thank you so much for, uh, sharing the, the video. I really appreciate it. 
Um, thank you so much, Flo. I'm sure we're going to have a blast at Houston. <laughs> Nympha says number three. So anyway, I think that's all I see for right now. Um, and oh, Joanne says number three too. So anyway, so thank you so much. I see you. I'll see you next week. Yes, I'll see you next week. Uh, I think it's the following week where I might have to rearrange um, because I'll be traveling. But anyway, so I'll see you next week and I'll post more uh, pictures of the coffee, the Latte Love uh, suite after our event on Thursday so that you can see even more samples with it. So anyway, so thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.